it's a it's a great uh, thing to be back. It's good to be back. Our break was nice. You know, me, Tom, and Dana had a nice break. But uh, now we're back with new cast members and new hope and the new attitude. Um, uh, some beautiful new cast members. We have Samuel Livingston, Jebediah Thatcher. We also have Cynthia Lennox and Grandma Beatrice, who's a, a new, new old, mm, ironic, uh, oxymoron, a new old cast member. <clears throat> and uh, we also have Jamaican uh, star um, Jebediah Mingbo, and uh, he's great. He, he does the news for a lot of the show. And uh, today our first, we're going to begin our first segment uh, with an interview from Samuel Livingston. He's going to be interviewing Mike McManus of The Sheen. We've had one interview with him, and uh, their recent antics have been uh, quite a... Uh... Previously known as Sheen Band member and leader Michael McManus, and we're just here to talk to him about uh, a few things on his uh, previous gig that occurred uh, also during Christmas and uh, I believe a few weeks ago. Is that correct, Mike? Yes. Well, we're glad to have you here on the Factor. Thank you. So, um, how are you these days, Mike? Pretty good. Not that's bad. that's that's good. Uh, what are you drinking there, blood? Uh, yes. That's that's uh, that's interesting. You have been known to be quite a beast uh, during your uh, shows. Uh, why is that? Well, uh, I like the trachea, and uh, is is that like a a symbol symbolic for the trachea of um, humanity? No, just, just the trachea. Trachea, yeah, I'm fond of the trachea. Um, I like the way things slide down it. Um, so that's how I. Yeah, yeah, big fan of sliding down the trachea. That's, uh, that's uh, interesting. Um, so, uh, it was said that during your last, uh, Sheen, uh, gig, you dressed up as a Superman sort of character, and, uh, uh, your, uh, second, uh, backup guitarist and keyboardist, uh, Nick Savoya, I believe his name is Nick Savoya. Um, it's actually Savio. Savio, okay. Well, he dressed up as a, uh, um, as a, uh, I believe an insane man with long hair and, um, a goblin mask, if that's correct? Yes, that's, that's correct. And what did, uh, Mr. Pickering, who's also the, the head of the show, uh, uh, dress up as? Basically, he wasn't wearing a shirt or pants, and he had a leather jacket, and, uh, yeah. he, he had his hair slipped back and uh well, kind of looked like Cruella de Vil. So do you view yourself as like a an idol to society? Yes. Well, yeah. that, that's pretty conceited. Yes. It's interesting. Um why do you do the things you do on the the sheen? Like what what drives you to be so insane? Why can't you just play music? I run a church called the Aching Pork Church and Basically, it uh, it functions as a micro valve uh, for the the uh, the people of uh, of our community who who feel that <coughs> they're they're downtrodden and uh, they they don't know where to turn. So uh, they come to the Aching Pork Church and um, they they get um, they get cylinders. 
they get cylinders and and cubes and uh, they they like the cylinders. Well, uh, finally, maybe a few questions we have from the viewers. Uh, one question is um, from uh, Bobby Brownston in uh, Ohio, California. Um, and Bobby writes, uh, why, why are you alive? Like, why are you here? Um, it's funny, I actually, I recently took a trip to Home Depot, and I was asked the same question by the cashier. I was buying, uh... Maybe it was Bobby Livingston. It might have been. I, I was buying, uh, I was buying some bricks for my grandmother, uh, who was recently deceased, and, uh, yeah, it, it was a, you know, it was just a hell of a day, you know, um, I thought the store was going to be closed. Uh, so that, that must have been a uh, life-shattering event when you found that it was open on a Sunday. It was, it, it was, uh, what's the word? <clears throat> Incomprehensible? Great. Great. Uh, great. I, I personally don't shop at Home Depot, uh, I think there's supplies of crap, but, um, Anyway, we, our next question is from, uh... Live and let die. Um, so, uh, alright, our last email is, uh, from, uh, Little Joe Bono. Where's your computer? My computer? Yeah. Oh, it's all in my head. I'm a robot. Fair enough. Um, anyway, our next email comes from, uh, Bobby Bono in, uh, Chevron, Ohio. And he writes, Dear Michael McManus, where is uh, this bilge of waste we'd like to call the sheet and heading? Uh, it's heading right to your town, Bill. That's where we're headed. Uh, that's uh, that's great, Mike. Uh, well, uh, many uh, wishes of luck to you, and uh, thank you for coming on the show as always. Thank uh, you very much. It's been a pleasure uh, speaking with you, and uh, we're going to go back to Peter Pickering. Thank you. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm sorry we have to leave you so quickly on the Pickering Factor, but fear not, a next a new episode will be here soon enough. I hope you enjoyed our cast members today, Samuel Livingston and Grandma Beatrice, and there'll be many more to come in next week's Pickering Factor. Cynthia Lennox and the Colonial General, John Friedman, will appear, and not only they, but also Jebediah Thatcher, our new um, cowboy. So, I hope you enjoyed our show for today, and now, we'll say goodnight as always. Good night. Rain, the cops on the phone telling me to figure it out, but it don't matter.